all their Sunday services. Cliff Craft Mobile Service. Uh, you can call Clifford Redinger if you need help there, 793-3832. In the event of uh, the outer metal, if it comes loose in the high winds, use nails or any other material to fasten them down. The East Sharpsburg Reformed Church Sunday School and the regular church services for tomorrow canceled. Baker's Summit Union Chapel services canceled. Claysburg Church of the Brethren closed tomorrow. Martinsburg Memorial Church of the Brethren will have a morning service. The whole Singer Church of the Brethren cancels its services for tomorrow. Morning and evening services at the Roaring Spring Mennonite Churches are canceled. Pastor Nelson Roth of the Martinsburg Mennonite Church Services tomorrow reports that tomorrow's services will be canceled. The Martinsburg Community Library closed today. Dog and Thuds Restaurants closed today. Wrestling practice at Central High this afternoon canceled. The Men's Communique Breakfast at Trinity Methodist Sunday morning postponed till next Sunday. Choir practice for the first, second, and third grades at Curryville Church of the Brethren. McKee Playground Family Night to be rescheduled for a later date. The Cove Community Club Spoon Supper postponed to March 4th. The Roaring Spring YMCA Swim Team meet with uh, Burnham Y scheduled for this afternoon canceled. The Roaring Spring Public Library closed. The wrestling scrimmage between Altoona and Central Cove Elementary closed. The Martinsburg Community Library closed. Dog and Suds Restaurant closed today. Wrestling practice, of course, at Central High this afternoon, canceled. The baton classes scheduled for St. John's at Lakemont, canceled. Hymn sing scheduled for tonight at the Albright Church, canceled. Foot, uh, that's the Fort Fetter Riding Club Banquet, postponed to March 11th, canceled. St. Patrick's Nuri Social scheduled for tonight. Also, uh, the Brethren in Christ Church, Martinsburg. There will be no morning or evening services tomorrow during this weather emergency. Faith United Lutheran Church services canceled tomorrow. Mount Pleasant United Church of Christ, RD1 Martinsburg, both the morning worship service and the Sunday school canceled. Curryville Church of the Brethren services for tomorrow have been canceled. Roaring Spring Department Store, all departments open until 5.30. United Methodist Charge in Claysburg, McKee, Wyant, Queen, no church services at any of those except Queen will have a Sunday morning service. I have an unusual one, Larry. Let me in here. Okay. The wedding scheduled for the East Freedom Chapel at 6.30 this evening has been canceled until tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Those words from Sherry Wyant and Charles Heilman, the groom and bride. They will uh, cancel for this evening and uh, have it instead tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 at the East Freedom Chapel. Would you use that several okay, times? Okay, very good. Thank you. you. Jana Sutton and uh, her husband, who left for Altoona this morning, please call here and uh, let us know where you are. 695-5050. This note comes from Mom. Okay, a snow plow outside uh, Curryville Road uh, to Martinsburg was stuck perhaps uh, is still there. Possibly someone from the Highway Department of Holidaysburg could come to the assistance there. Smith Corner Mennonite Church will be closed. The Ore Hill Union Church morning and evening services canceled. Church of God Woodbury morning and evening canceled all services. St. Paul's Lutheran Church and Baker Summit will be closed. The Albright Church of the Brethren canceling all Sunday morning services. Trinity Methodist Church will be open for the convenience of those who live close by. The First Church of the Brethren of Roaring Spring will have services tomorrow. The Ski Gap and Bulls Creek Road closed. That's from the A&P at Claysburg. For the information, of who, who all of, that's of all who live along that road. Pastor Ziegler pastor of the Duncansville Lutheran Church cancels all services for there for tomorrow. His program to be aired on Big K at 1230 to 1. The communion service will be held next Sunday. Henrietta Church of God 
cancels its Sunday and regular services tomorrow. And we'll continue with more postponements. We have hundreds more here, but uh, just have no time uh, left in this segment. We'll continue with more music in just a moment. Now a three-piece set of opera. Okay, Jack. Well, the Woodbury Church of the Brethren Services for Sunday canceled that word from Paul Ritchie, Jr. And here's a very nice uh, venture, I believe. Scott Staudenauer of Martinsburg has a snowmobile that he will volunteer for emergency food runs in Martinsburg. Oh, that's right. Any nice. family that may be without food and must have it, call 793-2318 and he'll do everything he can to help. That's Scott Staudenauer, 793-2318. 793-2318. And now checking for the latest weather report. Heavy snow warning for the rest of the afternoon. Snow and blowing snow this afternoon with an additional accumulation of six inches or more of new snow. High in the mid-20s to the low 30s. Windy and cold with snow flurries likely tonight and tomorrow. The low tonight in the upper teens to the low 20s. Now here's the weather on the local weather situation for Blair, Bedford, Huntington, and Cambria counties as reported by the Altoona Blair County Airport at Martinsburg. More snow is expected. An even greater blowing of the snow is promised. The wind is gusting from 22 to 35 miles per hour at the Blair County Airport. Gusts up to 44 miles per hour are being recorded at the Johnstown Airport, thus giving indication of higher gusts headed this way. As of 1 p.m., the airport recorded 18 inches of snow since the snow started yesterday. It is believed another three inches have fallen in the past three hours. Temperature here at the Big K now stands at 27 degrees. At uh, 4.20 p.m., the temperature at the airport stood at 27 also. That's the latest on the weather report. Some more cancellations. The Woodbury Church of the Brethren services for tomorrow canceled. The uh, Scott Stoughton Hour of Martinsburg has a snowmobile that he will volunteer for emergency food runs in the Martinsburg area. The telephone number 793-2318. 7932318 The uh, Churches of Christ in Claysburg has postponed uh, that's canceled their Sunday services for the Blue Knob, RD Emler and Claysburg areas. In Roaring Spring, the H&R Block Company office will be closed today and tomorrow and most stores closed early today in Altoona. Here's an important one, Larry. Kathy's Diner at McKee had closed but she's going to reopen to help anybody that needs fed, uh, the highway department, or anybody that's stranded. That's Kathy's Diner at McKee will reopen to help anybody that's having problems on the highway, and I think that's a very wonderful gesture. Very good. The church services at the Royer Methodist Church have been canceled. The teen center here in Roaring Spring at the YMCA closed tonight. Dance will be rescheduled. The Blair Memorial Church of God revival service for tonight canceled. At this time, church services for tomorrow will be held, but stand by in the event of cancellation. Bear Memorial Church revival services for tonight canceled. Tomorrow's service is still scheduled. This message from Pastor Terry Frederick. The square dance at the Six Mile Run Fire Company has been canceled. There will be no Sunday services at the Colmont United Methodist Church and the Six Mile Run Methodist Church. The Saxton United Methodist Church has canceled their church school and the administrative board meeting set for tomorrow. The morning worship service at 11 a.m. will be held at the Saxton United Methodist Church. You're in tune with WKMC at Roaring Spring. You're on your way to the news capitals of the world. Radio means news as it happens. This is Town and Country News. Larry Walters reporting the first portion. Rank and file longshoremen on the West Coast are voting heavily in favor of accepting a new contract and ending their long strike. Coal started moving to power stations in Britain today as miners lifted their picket lines. President Nixon is ending his brief stay in Hawaii and is about to take off again on his journey to Peking. The Secretary General of NATO has said U.S. troops must remain in Western Europe for the foreseeable future. The F.L. Smith strike has been settled. The contract was ratified by the membership this morning. The employees will return to work on Monday 
and they will be called by phone or by telegram. It was an 89-day strike and of a non-violent nature. State police say workmen have drained the profane gas from a tanker which collided with a Greyhound bus last night along the Pennsylvania Turnpike near Beaver Falls. Police say there is little, if any, danger of an explosion. The 10 or 15 families that had been evacuated at the time of the crash have been told they may return to their homes. The snowstorm traveling across Pennsylvania has dumped more than 16 inches of snow in some areas, tying up major and secondary roads and stranding several hundred travelers. By early afternoon, Interstate 80 was completely closed and state troopers and snowmobiles were out trying to take travelers from their snowbound cars to the safety of hotels and free lodgings volunteered by families who live along the road. One state trooper said the police were checking on cars to make sure that until the passengers get help, they won't keep their car engines running and subject themselves with to poisonous, deadly fumes. Not all hotels, however, are doing good business taking in the stranded. However, one hotel's spokesman said there was 20 inches of snow outside, but no motel guests. Meanwhile, the state transportation department warned all motorists to avoid travel except in cases of extreme emergency and then only in vehicles equipped with good snow tires or chains. The warning was echoed by mayors across the state as the snow piled up to 16 inches by mid-morning in Williamsport. Mayor John Coder asked residents to stay off the streets because of the deep snow, fallen tree limbs, and downed power lines. An accident between skidding vehicles last night caused state police to close a 16-mile stretch of the Pennsylvania Turnpike near Beaver Falls today as rescue teams and tow trucks tied, uh, tried to take 22 injured persons to the nearest hospital and tow away a tank truck, a bus, and a car. Larry, let me interrupt uh, your news broadcast because here's some good news. Uh, who am I talking to on the phone? Mrs. Menser. Mrs. Menser, uh, we're at Orr Hill. At Orr Hill. Can you tell us the good news that you have in this uh, snow Yes, blizzard? my girls got home. Oh, wonderful. I know there were a lot of people uh, calling here and everybody was offering. And, and to those of you who are still waiting for loved ones to come home, uh, about 70% of our secondary roads, that's a guess, are closed, but sooner or later, as the highway plows will open them, uh, you'll find that they'll be on their way home. Well, my, the two granddaughters walk from the crossroads in, but my daughter's over at the crossroads, but she's safe and all right. Okay, well, Mrs. Menser, thank you very much for calling us and letting us know, and to the rest of you people who are worried and concerned, uh, as fast as we get reports here at WKMC, we'll air that air them so that you out there know. Thank All you right. again, Mrs. Mentor. Okay, Thank Larry. You a lot. Back to you. Here's the story on the local weather situation for Blair, Bedford, Huntington, and Cambria counties, as reported by the Altoona Blair County Airport at Martinsburg. More snow is expected and even greater plowing, uh, blowing, that is, of the snow is promised. The wind is gusting from 22 to 35 miles per hour at the Blair County Airport. Gusts up to 44 miles per hour are being recorded at the Johnstown Airport, thus giving indication of higher gusts headed this way. As of 1 p.m., the airport recorded 18 inches of snow since the snow started yesterday. It is believed another 3 inches have fallen in the past 3 hours. In the weather forecast from the Weather Bureau, heavy snow warning for the rest of this afternoon. Snow and blowing snow this afternoon with an additional accumulation of 6 inches or more new snow the high in the mid-twenties to the low thirties. Windy and cold, the snow flurry is likely tonight and tomorrow, the lows tonight in the upper teens to the low twenties. And now with further details on the weather scene, here is Jack Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Riley. I'm speaking on behalf of the management of WKMC Radio. This has been a service facility since early this morning. The staff here at WKMC has been on the alert throughout the day we have answered hundreds and hundreds of phone calls. This service is your service. If you have a problem, call the numbers that have been given. We'll do everything we can to help you with your problem. The state of emergency does exist. The mayors of Roaring Spring and Martinsburg have declared state of emergency for both of the towns. The 90% of all secondary roads are drifted shut. They are closed in both Blair and Somerset counties. We have been able to help 
uh, through the telephone and through our services here, the highway department. We have had wonderful cooperation with the police departments in both towns, with the fire departments, and with the mayors. It has been just absolutely splendid. Uh, the Roaring Spring Friendship Volunteer Fire Company, with their wonderful facility, a, a four-wheel vehicle that has been able to get through the snow, was able to deliver milk to a mother and her child. They also were able to pick up a gentleman who suffered a heart attack in Martinsburg and bring him back down to Roaring Spring and deliver him into the hands of the doctors at Nason Hospital. The people have opened up their hearts along the way. People who were stranded in automobiles found the doors open and the warmth of the hearth theirs to come in. We have many people who are now leaving the city of Altoona that work in this uh, work in Altoona that are coming home to their loved ones. They are going to find some very, very bad conditions. We will do everything in our power to alleviate this wherever possible. We ask you this. Please, if you're driving, put your lights on for safety. If you have a telephone, please keep it for emergency use only. Uh, idle gossip, idle chatter does not have a place while this emergency exists. We're asking you again, please do not use the phones any more than you have to because you may be keeping a message from your loved one from getting to your home. We have had literally hundreds of cancellations. I'm going to take the time here to go down through all that we have and uh, all that we get. We will keep our phones open for any additional ones coming in. Now, this may be repetitions. It may even be a slight bit boring. But if there are some of the social obligations that you had planned to attend to, listen closely. We'll give you all the cancellations that have come through. Again, WKMC services are at your disposal. If we can help you, if you have a problem, use the United Telephone Lines 224-4500, 224-2151, and 224-2152, or Bell Telephone Loop 695-5050. Cancellations thus far. Emmanuel Baptist Church in Sky Gap will be closed for morning services. Evening services will be held only if the weather permits. St. Patrick's Newry a Social, scheduled for Saturday night, has been canceled. St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Baker Summit will be closed. Roaring Spring Church of the Brethren will be open for those who can make it. There will, though, be no Sunday school. Services for Faye Hauser, funeral services, which were scheduled for 2 p.m. today at the Connor Funeral Home in Everett, has been postponed until tomorrow at 2 p.m. No viewing today. Viewing 12 noon until 2 p.m. tomorrow. If there are other changes, we will let you know. Woodbury Brethren in Christ Church, all services canceled. Claysburg Church of God will be closed. Faith Assembly of God will be closed. United Church of Christ in Roaring Spring will be closed. Darwell's Dairy it has closed at 5 p.m. St. John's ENR of United Church of Christ in Martinsburg will be closed. Loisburg United Church of Christ Sunday School canceled. That word from Glenn Ritchie. Church services for Upper and Lower Clore Church of the Brethren Claysburg canceled. No worship service or Sunday school at the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church at Clappertime, Clappertown rather, on the Piney Creek Road, which incidentally is closed. Uh, Reverend Moore announced St. Matthew's Lutheran Church in Martinsburg canceling Sunday school and all services tomorrow. Holy Communion will be celebrated Sunday, February the 27th. The four churches on the Martinsburg Methodist Church charge have canceled their services for tomorrow. Woodbury Lutheran Church canceled all Sunday services. Uh, the East Sharpsburg Reformed Church Sunday school and the regular church service for tomorrow have been canceled. Baker Summit Union Chapel services canceled. That word from Benny Swobe. Claysburg Church of Brethren closed on Sunday morning and evening services both. Martinsburg uh, Memorial Church of the Brethren will have morning services if you can make it. Holsinger Church of the Brethren cancels all services for Sunday. Morning and evening services at the Roaring Spring Mennonite Church are canceled. Again, we remind you, please use the phones for emergency uses only. Do not tie up the lines. Nelson Roth, the Martinsburg Mennonite, uh, announces that the Ma Martinsburg Mennonite Church services canceled. Brethren Christ Church Martinsburg will have no morning or evening services. Faith United Lutheran Church services canceled tomorrow. Mount Pleasant United Church of Christ, RD1 Martinsburg, both the worship service and the Sunday school has been canceled. Curryville Church of the Brethren services for tomorrow, canceled. The Roaring Spring Department Store will remain open until 5.30 in case you need additional food supplies. 
The United Methodist Church in Claysburg, McKee, Wyant, and Queen. No church services at any Queen will have uh, Sunday school. The wedding scheduled for East Freedom Chapel, 6.30 this evening, has been canceled into the, until tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. That word from Sherry Wyant, the bride, and Charles Hyman, the would-be groom. It has been canceled. It has been rescheduled for 3.30 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. If there's a change, we'll let you know. Janice Sutton and husband Bob uh, left from Altoon. I think that has been rectified. No problem there. I hope so, anyway. That's Janet Sutton and husband Bob left for Altoona this morning. Uh, please call, if you're hearing my voice, 695-5050. Uh, your mother is very much worried. Smith Corner Mennonite uh, Church will be closed. Or Hill Union Church, morning and evening services canceled. Church of God Woodbury, morning and evening uh, services canceled. All services. The Albright Church of the Brethren canceling all Sunday morning services. That word from uh, Pastor Joseph Moyer. Yes, Lou? Jack, I have with me the mayor of Roaring Spring. Oh, good. And uh, Dick Butler, and also the chief of police of Roaring Spring. And as good. you know, under FCC, we are licensed here in Roaring Spring. Right. And at this time, I think they want to make a statement. All right. Come in here, chief and uh, mayor. Mayor first. Hello, Mayor Butler. How to do, Jack? We have had some day, have we not? Terrible. Terrible. Huh? I know that you gave it a lot of thought before you decided to uh, state uh, a state of emergency announcement. I know that you have to weigh all facts before you make that statement, but I feel that you did exactly right, that uh, uh, certainly a state of emergency does exist. It definitely does, and I would uh, certainly like to thank all the firemen, all the volunteers, for the tremendous work they've done. They've been getting milk to mothers with little babies that can't get out. Excellent. Excellent. They've also used their four, four-wheel four drive vehicle to go to Martinsburg to bring a heart patient back to Roaring Spring to the nation's Excellent. hospital. And uh, it's, it's just tremendous, the volunteer help we're getting. And we also would like to throw a plug in for WKMC. Well, thank you, sir. Being that uh, they've been sticking their neck out we're going to ask them to stick their neck out a little bit more and over FCC and see if they can stay on the air all night. Okay, because fine. Because we feel it's certainly been a great help. Well, we know that there are a lot of problems arising now as the people who are working in Altoona start for the cove. And uh, we would like to help in any case of emergency like that. We have had to uh, ask the restaurants in the area if they can to remain open and to if the highway workers come in. Many of these highway workers, uh, Mayor, left the house this morning without any money in their pocket, and they've stopped into these restaurants, and uh, uh, what has happened is uh, they said, well, you don't have any money. Well, please, open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Feed these boys. They need your help. Right. And I would like, like also to say that with our paper industry in Roaring Spring as a local union representative, right. we have a lot of fellows that are going to have to stay at the mill tonight because their relief right. can't get in. I can believe and, that. Uh, these wives and families at home will have to understand that uh, the weather is just too bad right. to make the trip right. one way or the other. Right. I would also say this, that some people who uh, had people leave here and go into Altoona today uh, have worried about their relatives getting back. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about them. Uh, there's a lot of highway crews out looking after them. They will be late. That you can count on. Right. Okay, now can we call in the chief of police here and have a word with him? Chief Robinson, I know that you have been a very, very active gentleman today with all of this terrible, terrible weather. Well, at this time, I would like to state again that at 1 o'clock we put the state of emergency in. WKMC had been very helpful with us. Thank you, sir. They've been monitoring our calls. They've been helping us. People have been calling in by listening to WKMC. Right. At this time, I would like to make a request that WKMC be permitted to stay on the air for 24 hours until the emergency is lifted. All right, thank you, We sir. are at the fire hall. The police department is secured, but we'll calls will be taken at the fire hall under the police phone okay. for any emergencies at this time. Okay, thank you. Those words from the mayor and the chief of police of Roaring Spring, uh, both stating that the state of emergency does exist, and if you uh, would see the winds, uh, the way that's kicking up the snow, drifting, the highway departments cannot possibly keep the roads clear, and for this reason, uh, we have a state of emergency. Mr. Marhoffer, do you have a word? 
Yes, Jack, we're trying, we have calls into Washington to the FCC asking permission to stay on beyond our normal sign-off at uh, 545. Uh, so far, we haven't been able to raise anyone at the FCC, but we'll certainly play this by ear. In the Big K weather forecast, once again, heavy snow warning this afternoon, snow and blowing snow this afternoon, with an additional accumulation of six inches or more of new snow, the high in the mid-20s to the low 30s, windy and cold with snow flurries likely tonight and tomorrow. Jack, do you have some more? Back to these cancellations, Larry, we have quite a few more. The Trinity Methodist Church will be open for the convenience of those who live close. Pastor Schroeder suggests that all parishioners attend the nearest available church, and if you can't go to church, why not listen to the various church services uh, tomorrow on WKMC Radio. The First Church of Brethren of Roaring Spring uh, we'll have services tomorrow. The Ski Gap or Bowles Creek Road, uh, that's at Claysburg AMP, is closed. And um, Pastor Ziegler announces that all services at the Duncansville Lutheran Church on Sunday uh, has been canceled. The communi uh, communion service, incidentally, will be held next Sunday. He urges you to listen to his program on WKMC tomorrow, 1230 to 1. Henrietta Church of God canceling Sunday and regular church services tomorrow. That word from Ray Horton. Woodbury Church of the Brethren services uh, Sunday canceled. That word from Paul Ritchie. Scott Stoudenauer of Martinsburg has a snowmobile that he will volunteer to use for emergency food runs in the Martinsburg area. So if you are without food, if you're without food, call 793-2318. 793-2318. Uh, Larry, uh, is the chief going back down to Roaring Spring now? Okay, chief. Uh, do you want to step in here and... Uh... Yeah, for anybody that does need emergency, we have two fire or two snowmobiles standing by at the fire hall that is ready to roll. Okay, that's fl splendid. There's two snowmobiles down at the Roaring Spring Fire Hall standing by in case uh, emergency procedures are needed. United Church of Christ in Claysburg has canceled Sunday services. Uh, that's at Blue Knob, R.D. Imler, and at Claysburg. The church services of the Royer Methodist Church have been canceled. That message from Mrs. Banks. And, of course, uh, the Roaring Spring Friendship Volunteer Fire Company, the men have turned out almost to the last man. They are going to man an emergency service center as long as this emergency exists, and I think that's very commendable. The teen center at uh, Roaring Spring YMCA closed tonight. The dance will be rescheduled. The Bear Memorial Church of God service for tonight, revival service, uh, has been canceled. At this time, church services for Sunday will be held, but uh, stand by in case of cancellation. I think we had that covered later or earlier there. The Square Dance at Six Mile Run Fire Company has been canceled. There will be no serv Sunday services at the Colmont United Methodist Church and the Six Mile Run United Methodist Church. The Saxton United Meth Methodist Church has canceled their church school and the administrative board meeting set for tomorrow. The morning worship service at 11 a.m. will be held at the Saxton United Methodist Church unless other words are received. And the baton class is scheduled for St. John's at Lakemont, canceled. Pomona Grange activity scheduled for Martins, Martinsburg, canceled. Hymn Sing scheduled for tonight at the Albright Church, canceled. Fort Fetter Riding Club banquet postponed until March the 11th. Choir practice for first, second, and third grades at Curryville Church of the Brethren, canceled. McKee Playground family night to be rescheduled for a later date. The Cove Community Club Spoon Supper posted, uh, postponed to March the 4th. The Roaring Spring Public Library is closed. The Martinsburg Community Library is closed. The Dog and Suds Restaurant uh, is closed today. The Men's Communion Breakfast at Trinity Methodist Sunday morning postponed until next Sunday. Uh, Broad Avenue United uh, Methodist Church and uh, uh, the Memorial United Methodist in Altoona will be closed. And finally, Martinsburg Laundromat is closed and will open at noon on Sunday. Those many, many uh, cancellations have come in. There are many more coming in. We will stay with you as long as we dare. And as I say, there is a state of emergency. Do not use the telephone for idle gossip. Use it only in case of emergency. We have many loved ones who work uh, in the Altoona area that will be coming down into this area. We must leave their lines open for emergency uses only. So keep listening to WKMC, and if we can help, uh, those numbers again to call uh, the United Lines 224-4500 uh, plus 224-2151 and 224-2152 or the Bell Telephone Line 695-5050. And now back to Radio Central. 
Okay, Jack, I have a young lady on the phone who's going to give us a first-hand account of uh, what it's like to try to come out from Altoona. Now, we're carrying this report because we know there are, we're told there may be 25 motorists stranded over at Darwell. We're told there's some motorists stranded uh, in front of the Dave Long Furniture Store. There are other people on Bowles Creek Road, we're told, that are stranded. Uh, we're told that, uh, that the road conditions are real bad. Uh, could I have your name? You're on the air. Uh, this is Donna Housel. All right, Donna, tell us a little bit about what you've encountered just coming out of Altoona. Uh, the roads were really terrible, snow-covered, uh, really snow all over the place. Have to be very, very careful, drive about 25 or 30 mile an hour, <laughs> if that fast. And I ended up walking in uh, the side roads. I'd say none of them are open as far as I could see. And people were stranded and walking. Uh, the roads you can get through if you really, really try. And I know we ended up walking. But I'm quite sure if everybody would take their time and not get upset, they could make it. But um, everything, you know, it, it's bad outside, <laughs> really bad. Okay, then you would uh, you can tell us as suggestions those who don't have to absolutely go out on the highway don't, uh, and those of you, of course, who do, be very careful. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Halso. And now back to uh, to uh, Jack Riley. Okay, Jack, over in the other room. Thank you, Miss Halso. Mm -hmm, thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're back on the air on this end now. Uh, Larry, uh, a state of emergency existing in this area. Both the mayors of Martinsburg and Roaring Spring have declared a state of emergency. We are working in close cooperation here at WKMC with the Friendship Volunteer Fire Company, and they are down right now at the fire hall. They will listen to KMC. If we have any emergencies come up, we in turn will put it on the air. They will pick it up and then act. Uh, the last report, we have a, a family, evidently their car automobile was stranded. They could not continue by uh, car, so they got out, and they are walking on the Cabbage Creek Road above the station, aiming toward the Woodbury Pike, uh, a family carrying children, and we have asked the volunteer fire company from Roaring Spring to go to the aid of these people and maybe help them get home. We will stand by the numbers I have given you many times, and if there's any problems we can help you with, call WKMC at 224-4500, 224-2151, 224-2151, or the Bell Telephone 695-5050. A state of emergency does exist. We are here to serve you. This is your radio station. Whatever we can do to help, let us know. Shaky and Nude invite everyone to enjoy the festivities at Jerry Anna's in Hollidaysburg every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Fun dancing and music by The Raws featuring Frankie Martin. And, of course, there is good food available. Stop in and say hello to Shaky and Nude at Jerry Anna's, 111 Allegheny Street, Holidaysburg. Enjoy the dancing, fun, and good times at Jerry Anna's, Holidaysburg. Allegheny Terrace Mobile Homes, homes of distinction, offering you mobile homes with a modern decor, early American and English colonial. Wall to wall and top to bottom, Allegheny Terrace offers you the finest and at prices so reasonable, you'd be amazed. Price range on double homes, $79.95 and up. See the complete selection of nationally advertised brands at Allegheny Terrace Mobile Homes today, where they refuse to be undersold. Allegheny Terrace Mobile Homes, Route 220, south of Tyrone, at Grace. WKMC Roaring Spring. Again, we're going to ask the favor of the citizens to help us out in case of emergency. Right now, leaving the Altoona area are many, many workers coming down into this area. Some of them will become stranded. We are asking you people who live along the main arteries, if you see a motorist stranded, that they're on foot, invite them into your home. We ask the restaurants in the vicinity, if you will, if these people become stranded, help by feeding them. We ask you also to invite the highway department, the workers, who some of them have been out since last night, have worked right straight around the clock to invite them in for a good food because, well, it's just so important. A state of emergency exists. We can't stress that too much. Open up your heart. Let the sun shine in. Larry? Okay, here's Lou Meyerhofer of WKMC. All right, Larry, here's another cancellation. The Coons Church of the Brethren. This message comes from Pastor Howard Bernhardt. No services tomorrow at the Coons Church of the Brethren. We just received a call concerning the people, especially those with kids that are having to walk along the highway. 
This call comes from Darla Showalter, who lives above Dr. England's home uh, toward Woodbury, and she will, in turn, make uh, provisions for any family that is stranded along the highway, anybody in their car that's within uh, Woodbury or walking distance of Dr. England's home. Darla Showalter, phone 224-2712. She will make provisions to take care of a family, any family that's stranded. Larry, back to you. Okay, Jack, do you have anything you want to add? No, except, as I said, please, if you see your neighbor or, or people, motorists in, in, in uh, plight, please help them out. Do everything you can. The highway crews are doing everything they can to keep the roads open. But with the still falling snow and the high winds, it is in deplorable condition. Ninety percent of the secondary roads in this area are closed. They are completely closed. So if you see somebody that's stranded, needs your help, do good. It'll always be repaid. Taking a look now at other uh, news headlines from around the world, rank-and-file longshoremen on the West Coast are voting heavily in favor of accepting a new contract and ending their long strike. Coal started moving to power stations in Britain today as miners lifted their picket lines. President Nixon is ending his brief stay in Hawaii and is about to take off again on his journey to Peking. The Western uh, Secretary General of NATO has said U.S. troops must remain in Western Europe for the foreseeable future. The snowstorm traveling across Pennsylvania has dumped more than 16 inches of snow, tying up major and secondary roads and stranding hundreds of travelers. Taking a look at the Big K weather forecast for today, heavy snow warning for the rest of the afternoon, snow and blowing snow this afternoon with an additional accumulation of six inches or more of new snow. The highs in the mid-20s to the low 30s. Windy and cold with snow flurries likely tonight and tomorrow. Current Big K temperature, 26 degrees. Montgomery is the name and Volkswagen is the product. Yes, all this week you can see on display at the Logan Valley Mall in Altoona the complete line of 1972 Volkswagens. In the mall will be the famous Beetle, the fast-selling Super Beetle, along with Fastbacks, Squarebacks, the sporty Carmen Guias, station wagons, including campers, two models. Don't miss the big all-new Volkswagen 411 in four-door sedans or wagons the very latest addition to the Volkswagen line. You can see them all in the Logan Valley Mall in weatherized comfort this week. Yes, don't miss the 1972 Porsche and Audis on display all this week at the mall in Altoona. And if you have any questions, all you have to do is ask one of the Montgomery men in the mall. That's Logan Valley Mall, Altoona. Okay, thank you, Jack, and here is Jack. Okay, we have on the line now Jim Everhart from uh, Saxton. Jim, will you give us a report again from that uh, area? All right, fine, Jack. Again, uh, the snow is blowing and drifting over here, and we have another cancellation. Uh, Ned Hollingshead of Saxton has called me, and the Stonerstown Church of the Brethren will be no Sunday school tomorrow. That's at the Stonerstown Church of the Brethren, and also the uh, Church of God in Robertsdale, the Glorland Quartet, uh, canceled out. They will not be there tonight. And the dance at the New Saxton Fire Hall still is on. And again, uh, for people in the Broad Top area who uh, like to call and give road reports or anything or any cancellations, they can call me here at 635-2870. All right, fine, Thank Jim. You. And keep us posted from the Broad Top area. Thank right. you. Right. Bye-bye. Okay, Jim Everhart and Jack Rowley on the line. Those big K numbers, 224-2151, 224-2152. Or 224-4500 on the Bell System, Holidaysburg, Altoona, Crescent and Glitzen areas, 695-5050. And over in Saxton, call Jolly Jim Everhart at 635-2870. That's 635-2870 for snow emergencies. And uh, the call said he has been stranded there since dinner time, and we're talking now to our Friendship Fire Department Rescue Squad. Can somebody go get the man? 
A Harris Boyer truck has been stranded on what road is that again? It's uh, out by the crossroads. Shoemaker's Crossing. Shoemaker's and Crossing Dairy. and what? Richie's Dairy. And Richie's, uh, Richie's Dairy. He has been there since noon. We're asking the volunteer fire company, if they can, to go out and get the driver if it's possible. Okay, and a Mrs. Minsker reports uh, that uh, on, uh, on a mountain uh, road toward uh, Woodbury, uh, that's on the mountain toward uh, Woodbury, there are three young children walking, Mrs. Mensker and three young children. Also a cancellation, St. Mark's at King and the Trinity Church at Osterberg canceled. That's both the United Church of Christ in those respective areas. Okay, do we have a telephone report now? Yes, Larry. I have a call from Claysburg, and this is Sam Clore, chief of the Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company. Chief Clore, you're on the air. Go ahead. Why, in the Claysburg area, we have four snowmobiles patrolling the ski gap road. All right, For sir. anybody that needs the assistance, call 239-2284. 239-2284. For anyone needing assistance in the Claysburg area, Four ski mobile units at the disposal of the Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company. Chief, we had a report that there had been a family had tried to climb uh, Bowles Creek Road or Ski Gap Road. They had parked their car and, according to our telephone report, started heading up the mountain. That was the last report here we had at uh, WKMC. Why, for any other help that we may need, I'd like to put out a call for all the Claysburg Fire Police to give me a call at 239-5280. 239-5280. That's for all Claysburg Volunteer Fire Police. Right. All right, Chief, would you say that you have anyone declared a state of emergency over in your area? Uh, there's no one in the immediate area now that has said anything to me. Okay, how do you find conditions over there? They're bad. They're very bad. The wind's kicking up, and it's the uh, Buttermilk Hollow Road is closed. Buttermilk Hollow Road closed at Claysburg. Right. Okay, thank you very much, Chief Sam Clure, the Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company. Call us again because we plan to stay on the air. Okay, thank you. Right. I know. Larry, back to you. Okay, uh, Jack, anything to add now? Nothing to add except that the state of emergency does exist, and, and we're asking and getting, I might add, the cooperation of many people in their homes, the certainly the wonderful cooperation of all of the volunteer fire companies and the police departments and the mayors of all the towns around, and I, I think it's just wonderful. In case we forget to thank you, it's thank you. And if you want to, uh, if you need some help, you need WKMC, call the numbers that Larry will give right now. Okay, and Jack, those numbers are on the United Lines, which is our own local area from, I believe, Louisburg toll-free also, and the Roaring Spring Martinsburg area, 224-2151, 224-2152, or 224-4500. Now, in the Holidaysburg, Altoona, Crescent, Glitzen areas, you may call toll-free right here to the Big K Studios, 695-5050. 695-5050, or in the Saxton area, you can call 635-2870. 635-2870. Jack Rowley, I believe you have a telephone. Report. Okay, who am I speaking to, please? Hello, why, I'm calling for my mother, Mary Hoover. Mm-hmm. Why, she's worried about my dad, and she'd like to have him call home. Now, what is his name, please? Ross Hoover. Ross Hoover, and he left from where? The paper mill. In Roaring Spring to yes. go home. Uh huh. And you have not heard from him. No. All right, then we want Ross Hoover to call home as soon as possible. Yes. The okay, Hoover fine. Is. What right. is your number there? Uh, there's a two six eight six. Two six eight six. All right. Yes. In case we hear something, we'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. And those numbers again: two two four two one five one, two two four two one five two or 224-4500, Holidaysburg area, 695-5050, 695-5050, or in Saxon, 635-2870. Cancellation of two churches here, St. Mark's at King and the Trinity at Osterberg, United Church of Christ, 
services canceled. And now let's continue with a little spot of music. Okay, Jack Rowley, you have another emergency phone report. Okay, who am I speaking to, please? Uh, you're talking with Ronald Furry from Coes Lane Road. Ronald, uh, you have a message for us. We, may we hear it now? Yes, well, I have a snowmobile here, and we have about three or four more in the area up here in the Coes Lane. We're about halfway up uh, from Roaring Springs to the crossroads. I see. I heard your call about this stranded truck driver, and I thought maybe some of us fellows up here could go after him if uh, no one else is been able to get up to it. Well, we've not heard from the fire company, but I think it would be an excellent idea. Uh, what is your numbers there in case anybody needs some help? Uh, my number's under Martinsburg, 793-2496. All right, 793-2496, and your name again? Ronald Furry. Ronald Furry, and you have four snowmobiles standing by in case... Well, uh, we haven't need... organized them yet. I have one of my own here, mm -hmm. but I thought I would call my neighbors and see if they're Fine. Be available. Fine, because I, it looks... Uh, the way the weather's getting out and it's getting worse, we may need you. All right, I'll call them and see how many I can round up. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. All right. We have another hey, call. Who am I speaking to, please? Uh, this is Curtis Musselman, Claysburg. Yes, Curtis. May I help you? Oh, uh, the Clore Road is uh, closed at the Lower Clore Church. The the road at Lower Clore Church is closed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's next to... We may need you. All right. I'll call them and see how many I can round up. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. All right. We have another hey, call. Who am I speaking to, please? Uh, this is Curtis Musselman, Claysburg. Yes, Curtis. May I help you? Oh, uh, the Clore Road is uh, closed at the Lower Clore Church. The the road at Lower Clore Church is closed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next to Clayton's store. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, Jack, and in the weather forecast, snow and blowing snow through this evening. Windy and cold with snow flurries likely tonight and tomorrow. And now let's continue with the little music, Pete Drake. At this time, WKMC will conclude all commercials and its regular format and go on an emergency snow broadcast basis. WKMC is owned and operated by the Cove Broadcasting Company by authorization of the Federal Communications Commission on 1,370 kilocycles with a power output of 1,000 watts daytime and a pre-sunrise authorization of 500 watts. WKMC will resume its regular commercial broadcasting operations tomorrow at 6 a.m. In the meantime, under FCC emergency broadcast rules and regulations, and because of the emergency announced by the mayors of Roaring Spring and Martinsburg, the fire departments, and the chief of police, WKMC will continue to broadcast news of stranded motorists, persons needing food, medical assistance, lodgings, and other emergency services. WKMC at Roaring Spring. St. Mark's at King, Trinity at Osterberg, the United Church of Christ have canceled their services for tomorrow. Anyone, anybody needing help in the Claysburg area, call 239-2284. And uh, all Claysburg Fire Police, please call 239-5280. Harris Boyer truck is stuck between Shoemaker's Crossing and Ritchie's Dairy. The driver is at the Lester Smith's house, 793-3174, 793-3174. St. Patrick's Nori Social, scheduled for Saturday night, which is tonight, canceled. Uh, the uh, Martinsburg to Curryville, Route 866, 25 cars stranded in that area, according to reports. St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Baker Summit will be closed tomorrow. Roaring Spring Church of the Brethren will be open for those who can make it tomorrow. There will be no Sunday school. Funeral services for Faye Hauser, which was scheduled for 2 p.m. today at the Connor Funeral Home Everett has been postponed until tomorrow at 2 p.m. No viewing today. Viewing 12 noon until 2 p.m. tomorrow. 
And now, Lou Meyerhofer. Thank you, Larry. I have with me uh, Roaring Spring Friendship Volunteer Fire Company uh, Chief of Police uh, Ron Smith. Uh, Ron, uh, I know that you, you're just you're out looking for a family that allegedly or reportedly was stranded. Suppose you bring us up to date on what you have found and how we can help you. Well, we covered uh, up Cabbage Creek where they said they were supposed to be, and we haven't found anybody. So evidently, they must have been taken into a house, and uh, people's taken care of. Okay, uh, if anybody sees anybody that is stranded, uh, and especially this particular family, we were told uh, a family with some children. We had a Mrs. Menser call saying that there was a family with three young children uh, walking along the road on Mountain Road toward Woodbury, which is not the same family that we were told that had been here at Cabbage Creek. Uh, again, the Roaring Spring Volunteer Fire Company with chains, four-wheel drive vehicles, the emergency units are out. And if you call us here at WKMC, we'll put it on the air. We're on a broadcast emergency basis. All our commercial regular format program has been discontinued. The Roaring Spring Volunteer Fire Company standing by at the firehouse, the emergency equipment out, along with the Roaring Spring, uh, Roaring Spring Police Department, plus the Martinsburg Fire Department, plus all area fire departments, Sam Clore of Claysburg just called. They have emergency snowmobile units out to seek out and search stranded motorists. Uh, now, Larry, back to you if you want to read more on the cancellation. Woodbury Brethren in Christ Church, all services canceled for tomorrow. The Claysburg Church of God will be closed. Faith Assembly of God closed. The United Church of Christ of Roaring Spring will be closed. St. John's uh, United Church of Christ Martinsburg will be closed. No worship service or Sunday school at the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church at Clappertown on the Piney Creek Road. Loisburg United Church of Christ Sunday School canceled. Church services for the Upper and Lower Clore Church Brethren of Claysburg have been canceled. Reverend Morey of the St. Matthew's Lutheran Church Martinsburg canceled all Sunday School and all services tomorrow. Holy Communion will be celebrated next Sunday, February 27th. The four churches on the Martinsburg Methodist Church Charge have canceled their services for tomorrow. Woodbury Lutheran Church canceled all Sunday services. Anyone needing help with their uh, Cliffcraft mobile service, Clifford Redinger is available at 793-3832. And on the line now... Larry, I have uh, our ace correspondent in the broad top, uh, Jimmy Everhart. Jim, go ahead. You're on the air. Okay, thank you very much, Lou. Uh, we are here in Saxton again. I had a call just moments ago from a lady who lives... They're the five and dime in Saxton. We already checked into it, and the police are on the way. Uh, a couple has been sitting there all day in the car, evidently the car running and everything, and uh, now that the lady reports that uh, they have laid down in the back seat of the car, so there might be some problems there. So we have the Saxton Police Department working on this right now. Uh, our number here is 635-2870 if you do have an emergency or something. And I'd like to pass this along, too, that the Robertsdale charge, the Methodist charge, all services has been canceled at the Robertsdale Methodist Church. And then repeating again that emergency earlier there that we had mentioned, the Saxton Police Department are working on it now, and uh, we'll get back to you a little later on. Okay, Jim, uh, we're uh, on a, an emergency broadcast basis here at KMC, so we'll be here for some time, and if your people there can't reach you, uh, we encourage them to call us directly over here, and if they're poverty-stricken, we'll even take a collect call. Right. Uh, okay, thank you, Jimmy Everhart from Saxton, uh, and now over to Jack Riley. Uh, Jimmy Everhart has brought out a very, very important point. Uh, if you are going anywhere, make sure that your gasoline tank is full. In the event that you become stranded, you will have heat. But in regards to that, if you are stranded, if you cannot move your automobile, make sure that you have a window open to crack so that you, in case of a faulty muffler system, that you are not overcome by carbon monoxide. Very, very important. Okay, we have another call coming in immediately. Back to Lou. All right, uh, uh, Jack, I have on the phone uh, a call from Claysburg. Go ahead, sir. You're on the air. Well, this is Claysburg Fire Department, uh, Fire Police. We're going to set up a base station at uh, Claysburg right. Fire Hall, and uh, the people needs any uh, assistance or anything, we'd like to have them call the Fire Hall, and anybody that's on the extension, 
to uh, hold the uh, line until they've answered at the uh, fire hall. Okay, sir, and uh, how are things in Claysburg? Well, pretty rough right now. <laughs> okay, we had a call from uh, Chief Sam Clore, who said yes. there are four snowmobile units. If by chance, and this is a problem that some uh, people are having, if you cannot reach your local volunteer fire company, WKMC, we'll stay on the air. We have four lines here. Give us a call if you're on the United Telephone System, 224-4500, 224-2152, 2151. Uh, for those people in the Claysburg area and those who are on the Bell System at East Freedom or Claysburg RD, I believe they can call us at 695-5050. We'll put the message out over the air because nearly all the volunteer fire company, police squads, rescue squads are tuned to KMC for instructions. Uh, and again, sir, uh, is there anything else that you can tell us from Claysburg? Well, the number we have here for the fire hall is uh, 2424. It's 239 2424. And we're going to try to... Uh, Let me get that number again. It's 239-2424. Yes. Okay. And that is the fire hall. I haven't called the fire, the fire hall. Right. Okay. And uh, we're going to try to get some more snowmobiles out, and uh, we'll have it. We'll call back over and uh, let you know how many, approximately how many we have. Okay. Then anybody in the Claysburg area needing emergency service, the fire hall number is 239-2424. And if for some reason you can't get through because we know the lines are loaded, call us here at KMC. We'll put it on the air, and the fire company, we know, members are listening to the broadcast. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much, sir, and keep us informed. Right. Right. The right. East Sharpsburg Reformed Church Sunday School and the regular church services for tomorrow have been canceled. Uh, the Baker Summit Union Chapel services canceled for tomorrow. In other cancellations, the Claysburg Church of the Brethren will be closed tomorrow. No services there tomorrow at the Claysburg Church of the Brethren. The Martinsburg Memorial Church of the Brethren will have their morning services for those who are in that area who can walk to church. The Holsinger Church of the Brethren cancels services for tomorrow. Morning and evening services at the Roaring Spring Mennonite Church are canceled. And please use the phones for emergency use only. Uh, Pastor Nelson Roth of the Martinsburg Mennonite Church announces services for tomorrow canceled. Brethren in Christ Church of Martinsburg, there will be no morning or evening services. Faith United Lutheran Church services canceled for tomorrow. The Mount Pleasant United Church of Christ of RD1 Martinsburg, both the worship service and the Sunday school has been canceled. The Curryville Church of the Brethren services for tomorrow canceled. You're in tune with WKMC at Roaring Spring, Pennsylvania, 1370 on your radio dial on our emergency broadcast for the area. The wedding which was scheduled for the East Freedom Chapel at 6.30 this evening has been canceled until tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 p.m. This from Sherry Wyan and Charles Howman. Jack? The Geesey Town and Yellow Springs Lutheran Church and Sunday School will not be held. I might say that the facilities of WKMC are open now for emergency use anything, any problems that may crop up, get on the lines. Let us know. The numbers again are 224-4500, uh, 224-2151, and 224-2152, or Bell Telephone, 69550. We have one coming in right now. Lou? Hi, Jack. I have the Chief of Police of Roaring Spring, Joe Robinson. Go ahead, Joe. You're on the air. At this time, I would like to make an announcement that if anybody in the Cove area cannot get through and needs help, that we have three snowmobiles out in the cove that are ready to roll, also a Jeep if he can get through, plus, as I said before, our equipment in the Roaring Springs Fire Department. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chief of Police Joe Robinson here at Roaring Spring. Okay, Jack, back to you. Well, the fact that the emergency situation is here, and that's the reason we are beyond our regular uh, sign-off time, uh, we are here to help the people. We know that a great influx of people are coming down 
from Altoona, people who have been working there and are wending their way home into the cove. The situation, the road situation is deplorable. The highway crewmen have been out since last night, almost around the clock, trying to keep the roads open. But with the very high winds, it's just a deplorable situation. Secondary roads are closed, most of them. Very few roads are open. The main highways, the, that's where they're working the hardest to keep the main arteries open. The winds have cut the visibility in areas down to zero. If you're traveling, be very, very careful. You don't suddenly come upon a stalled vehicle and have a collision. If you have any problems, if you come, become bogged down in snow, go to the nearest home and ask uh, for refuge. And when you get there, then call us uh, here at uh, WKMC. We'll do everything we can to get to you. As I said, an influx of people coming from uh, the Altoona area, going home from work, trying to get to their homes, and we are here to help all we can. Another call coming in right now. Back to Lou Marhofer. Okay, thank you, Jack. Uh, Larry, I have on the phone Carol Kennedy. Carol, uh, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello. Why, well, I called in a while ago uh, for my mother, Mary Hoover. Well, we heard from my dad, and he's safe, so we want to thank you. Okay, thank you very much for letting us know. That's one more person found in this snow blizzard of 1972. Thanks, Carol, for calling. Thank you. And for the rest of you who are still concerned about missing family members, there are some that are stranded in automobiles, others that have made their ways to farmhouses. There are some walking along the road, so motorists, if you do have a chance, I know that rule about picking up hitchhikers, uh, but there are many people who are stranded, who are walking, and especially those with children. Uh, we are having some difficulty with phone lines. There seems uh, naturally at this time of the, uh, at this type of uh, calamity where people are trying to call all at one time. The telephones do get loaded, uh, but the operators are doing their best. And again, if you're having trouble getting through, call us here at KMC, and we'll certainly put it out on the air. We're glad that uh, Mr. Kennedy uh, was found and that uh, the Kennedy family is relieved. Uh, let's see now, Larry, do we go on to you? All right, Larry Walters, to you. Okay, thank you, Lou. And the Smith Corner Mennonite Church will be closed tomorrow. The Ore Hill Union Church, morning and evening services canceled. The Church of God of Woodbury, morning and evening canceled. The Albright Church of the Brethren, canceling all Sunday morning services. The Trinity Methodist Church will be open for the convenience of those who live nearby. Pastor Schrader suggested all uh, parishioners attend the nearest available church, and if you can't go to church, why not listen to the various church programs here on WKMC? The First Church of the Brethren of Roaring Spring will have services tomorrow for those who are in the area and can walk to church. The Ski Gap Road or Bulls Creek Road, that's from the A&P at Claysburg, uh, was closed, and uh, we have another telephone report right now. Okay, Larry, let me bring you up to date on the stranded uh, truck driver, the Bay, uh, I think it's uh, one of the Bakers. Uh, uh, Merle Pote, is that you on the line? Yes, it is. Okay, Merle, you're on the air. Go ahead, tell uh, tell us what's coming up on that. Well, we've got a snowmobile coming out of Martinsburg right now and who's going to try to pick that man up. Okay, this is the stranded uh, uh, Baker. Harrison Boyer brake driver, yeah. Harrison Boyer bake driver along the road, a snowmobile. Uh, if that fellow is listening, we think he is. Uh, there's a snowmobile on the way towards your track. Okay, thank you very much, Merle Pote. Now, Larry, back to you. Okay, Jack. All right, that's just another case of where we've been able to help. Uh, Denny Albright's here with me. The Claysburg emergency number is 239-2424. That's the, uh, the fire hall over there. Roaring Spring Fire Hall is 224-4813. I might add this, that you may not be able to get through those numbers because they are very, very busy right now. You can call here at the station with the numbers we've given you. We're going to stay on to do whatever help we can to get the people back safely to their homes. As we said before, there are many people leaving the Altoona area now trying to get home, and it's very, very difficult. The roads are hazardous, and as Lou said, the old adage of don't pick up a hitchhiker, if you see someone walking along the highway and you can help them, Please, open up your heart, let the sun shine in, stop, give them a lift. Denny? Jack, I just wanted to mention that uh, Lou took the call just as Chief Merle Pote of the fire department uh, called in. They have now organized, or are in the process of organizing, a snowmobile rescue team. Excellent, and excellent. And all you snowmobile operators or owners who uh, wish to help in this rescue operation, please call either Chief of Police Joe Robinson 
or Roaring Spring Fire Chief Merle Pote at this number, 224-4813. I'll repeat, Chief Joe Robinson, Roaring Spring Borough Police Chief, Merle Pote, Chief of the Friendship Volunteer Fire Department. The phone number is 224-4813. Again, if you need any help, let us know. Uh, we have been able to solve, I would say, so far this afternoon, about 10 to 15 emergency situations uh, by using the communication system that's set up uh, directly from here to the Friendship Volunteer Fire Company. They are monitoring us, and when we have a problem that you've called in here, they immediately go to work on it. As I said, many of the snowmobile owners have uh, volunteered the services. Uh, we have a young man, Stoudenauer, in, in um, Martinsburg, who said that if you need food, if you're out of food and can't get it, uh, we have a number for that. Uh, we have everything that you need. That's what the facilities of WKMC are for right now. Uh, the winds are very, very strong. It is continuing to snow. How much more we do, we'll get, nobody knows. But I can tell you this, the highway department is in for a long, long night. It's going to be a very difficult night for them. Uh, again, they are doing everything they can to keep the major arteries open. Many, 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 many of the secondary roads are totally shut, uh, just completely covered over with drifting. The drifting continues. The battle against the drift con uh, drifting continues. And the battle to get the people safe in their home continues uh, here at WKMC. Uh, Claysburg number for emergency again. The fire hall over there is 239-2424. Roaring Spring Fire Hall is 224-4813. We have a fine emergency network. If you have a problem, call the station at any of these numbers, 224-4500, 224-2151, 224-2152, or the Bell Telephone Line, 695-5050. Back to Larry. Also in the Saxton area, you can call John A. Jim Everhart at 635-2870. That's in Saxton for all emergency and cancellations on this emergency broadcast, 635-2870, toll free. In Holidaysburg, Altoona, Crescent, Glitzen, emergency 695-5050. And here in Roaring Spring, Louisburg area, 224-2151, 224-2152, or 224-4500. Other cancellations, all services at the Duncansville Lutheran Church tomorrow will be canceled. The communion service will be held next Sunday. The Henrietta Church of God canceling Sunday and regular church services tomorrow. The Woodbury Church of the Brethren services for tomorrow have been canceled. Scott Stoudenauer of Martinsburg has a snowmobile that he will volunteer for emergency food runs in Martinsburg. The telephone there for Scott Ridenauer, uh, that's Stoudenauer rather, 793-2318. The Woodbury Church of the Brethren Services for tomorrow canceled. The Churches of Christ in Claysburg has been canceled. Services in the Blue Knob, R.D. Imler in Claysburg areas canceled at the Churches of Christ in Claysburg. The Roaring Spring uh, volunteers uh, are asked to call the fire hall. The church services at the Royer Methodist Church have been canceled. Cancellation, the Community Bible Church of Osterberg, canceled. Teen Center at Roaring Spring at the YMCA will be closed tonight. Dance will be rescheduled for later. The Bear Memorial Church of God Revival Service for tonight Canceled. At this time, church services for tomorrow may be held, but stand by in the event of cancellation. Bear Memorial Church Revival Services tonight canceled. Tomorrow's service still scheduled. This message from Pastor Terry Frederick. What's wrong? And now we have the Jack Rally. Hello. Uh, I'm calling uh, from the McKee area mm -hmm. for uh, Pat's welding, mm -hmm. and he has a four-wheel drive vehicle for an emergency, and they also have a snowmobile for emergency in McKee. That's anyone that might have some emergency problems in McKee. Yes, To sir. contact Pat's welding. What is your number there, please? Uh, it's 695-5892. 695-5892. That's anybody in the McKee area that runs into emergency and problems. Up to Roaring Springs area, too. Up to Roaring Springs. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Okay, Jack, that's um, the key area. Anyone that uh, has any trouble there, 695-5892. 695-5892. There will be no Sunday services at the Colmont United Methodist Church and the Six Mile Run United Methodist Church tomorrow. The Saxton United Methodist Church has canceled their church school and the administrative board meeting set for tomorrow. The morning worship service at 11 a.m., will be held at the Saxton United Methodist Church. The baton classes scheduled for St. John's at Lake Mont canceled. The hymn singer scheduled for tonight at the Albright Church canceled. Fort Fetter Riding Club banquet postponed to March 11th. Choir practice for first, second, and third grades at Curryville Church of the Brethren canceled. McKee Playground family night to be rescheduled for a later date. The Cove Community Club spoon supper postponed to March. The Roaring Spring Public Library closed today. The Martinsburg Community Library closed today. Dog and Suds Restaurant closed. The Men's Communion Breakfast at the Trinity Methodist Sunday Morning Service postponed till next Sunday. Broad Avenue United Methodist Church and the uh, Memorial United Methodist in Altoona will be closed. Martinsburg Laundromat is closed and will open at noon tomorrow. Emmanuel Baptist Church in Ski Gap will be closed for morning services. Evening services will be held if weather permits. Okay. Okay. Hello, may I, uh, who's calling, please? Uh, this is Mrs. Sweeney calling. Uh, Mrs. Sweeney. Mm-hmm. And I live on the Bartonfield Construction Company. It's down here in the loop. Yes. And, uh, well, I got a six-month-old baby, and he's completely out of milk. Okay. Well, let's get this information of, uh, down, Larry. Pardon? Uh, just a moment. Your name again, please. It's Mrs. Sweeney. Spell the last name. S-W-A-N-E-Y. So S-W-A-N-E-Y. Uh -huh. And you live where? And uh, on the Bottenfield Construction Company. Bottenfield Construction Company, and that's where? Down in the Loop. At the Loop. Yeah, you know where Woods the store is? Yes. Well, you come down past Ward's store, and there's, you know, the railroad track there. Mm -hmm. well, I might explain it better. Do you know where the road to Price's Poultry is? Yes. Well, you don't turn up that road. You keep coming straight through, and right on the other side of the bridge, you'll see a big yellow barn. Well, we live up, uh, well, you can come in the driveway. Mm -hmm. cause that's and all. you have no milk for the child. No, and we're out of bread. and uh, No bread. No, and we need cigarettes, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get that number, Larry. All right, we'll do what we can to help you. And uh, oh. I'll tell you, if you come down and you blow the horn down there pretty loud, my husband will walk down, uh, walk down and get the stuff okay. and pay you. What is your phone number? It's 695-5805. All right, thank you. 695-5805. Yes. Do we have another line that's hot, though? 5-2. Five 5-2, two. Five two, okay. Uh, Jack Riley here, may I help you? Yes, you may. Uh, who is this, please? Uh, this is Chancey Lingfelder, a highway maintenance foreman. Yes, Chancey. At the uh, McKee in Plaisburg area. Mm-hmm. And we have a greater operator located in the uh, Emler area that uh, has to come out to work at 8 o'clock, and they have, we have no way of getting him out. He can't get out. We were wondering if there'd be anybody in the Plaisburg vicinity could win and get him out. Uh, uh, Chancey, uh, yeah, we have a number for Plaisburg uh, for the fire hall there. They have some snowmobiles standing by. I'm sure they could help. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Number. I'll give you the number. I was wondering if they could get in touch with New Enterprise. So they know where this man lives, because I don't know where this man lives. Oh, you say the man lives in, in New Enterprise. No, he lives in the Emler area, but he works for New yeah. Enterprise. All right, then what we want to do is anyone in the Emler area that can help us get this gentleman out uh, to please call here at the station, right? Yes. Okay, we'll see what we can do for you. All right. Thank you. Hello, may I, who am I speaking to, please? Uh, this is Corporal Oldham of the Fire Police, uh, yes. Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company. Okay. Yes. Uh, we just had a call received from uh, Freddie McDonald up in the Clore Queen area. Yes. And he said that he would give us five snowmobiles if we need them. That is great. That and is great. We're all going to go pick them up. What was the number for that uh, operator? Uh, we had a gentleman, uh, a, uh, a highway operator that is in the Imler area, and we have to get him out to New Enterprise to help operate equipment. Would that be anywhere in your general vicinity? Well, uh, we're out of Claysburg here, and uh, we could probably get out there if the all road right, is... Do we have that number, Larry? 
I believe maybe it's on that paper. All right, let me see if it is. Just a moment. No, I don't have that number. I have it here, sir. Oh, you do? Fred McDonald's number. Two right. 239-2995. Repeat it. 239-2995. If you call him and get the information of where he is, maybe you can help him out. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you now. Hey, you still on there yet? Right. Okay, go ahead. Hey, hello, may I help you? Yes, yeah, this is Jim Everhart, uh, Jack, yes, and uh, we're hmm? calling again from Saxton. Uh, okay. Just had a report a minute ago here from a uh, reliable source that there is a bad accident involving a couple of cars just south of Saxton on 26 at uh, Happy Hollow Inn. Mm -hmm. uh, no details on it yet. We're checking with the state police now, and it seems there's nothing in on it yet. All right. I understand that there has been some people injured in the accident, so it would be a good idea to just stay off the highway. Oh, my, yes. We have an influx of people on the highway, though, Jim, that are, are leaving work and trying to get home, and that's causing us some problems. But I, I'm sure that that will straighten itself out before too long because we've had so much emergency help that's been absolutely volunteered. It's just tremendous. Right. We also have a cancellation. The Reality Theater in Robertsdale will be closed tonight. That's okay. word from Les McLean. Okay. That's it from Saxton for right now. Thank you, Jim. You can reach Jolly Jim over in Saxton on the Saxton Emergency Line, 635-2870. That is toll-free in the Saxton area, 635-2870. Jack? Uh, Jack Riley here. May I help you? Yes. And my can, you, can you speak up, please? I live in East Pleasant Valley Boulevard. My daughter lives out there at Harrison Street. Uh, they've got eight uh, or they've got six children. And they've got a baby out there, and they're out of milk and out of bread. Now, they don't have the money to pay for it. Now, we've been trying to get sold out here all day. We was going to try, if we get out, take it out to them. But we haven't been able to get out yet. And all right, now, the name of the family, please. Pardon me? The name of the family? Settle, David Settle. David Settle, S-E-T-T-L-E? S-E-T-T-L-E, yes. And what street do they live on? Harrison Street. Where? Uh, 408. 408 Harrison Street, here in Roaring Spring? No, no, in, uh, that's in Cannon Station. In Cannon Station. Across the street, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. They have no, no bread? And, and no milk? No milk. Okay, I know that your words are being heard by several of the volunteer outfits around here. Maybe they can help. Uh, what is your What is your number in case we need to reaffirm? Uh, nine four three three five six seven. Okay, nine four four three three. No, nine four three three. Okay. Five six seven. Nine four three three five six seven. That's right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. All right. May I help you, please? Yes, uh, this is Sean Wagner, mm -hmm. and I'm from the Emmer Area Volunteer Fire Company. Fine. And we just heard that call. Fine. And we have one Jeep ready to go, so I'm going to give them a buzz out there, and uh, could you tell me where this location is? Uh, gee, we don't have the exact location, mm, do we? No, I don't believe we do. It, it's Imler. It's the yes. gentleman who is, uh, is working for the highway department. He's got to get out, but we don't have an exact location. Uh, stand by. Maybe they'll call, uh, recall us, and, and you can pick up the information from the air. Okay. All right. And uh, another thing, we possibly have another Jeep ready to go. Excellent. And, a, and another snowmobile. Fine. And if you need any help with uh, mothers with babies, call... 276-3300. That's Humor Area Volunteer Fire Company. Splendid. Splendid. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, we're on. Uh, Larry, we have one here for the uh, Friendship Volunteer Fire Department. We have two people stranded in the township building out on the Woodbury Pike who need transportation. They are inside the building. Uh, Friendship Fire Department, please go get them and take them home. You're back. Okay, uh, Jack, I'll let you take over the microphone here for just... Okay. okay. All right, you want, you want to get up and I'll slide okay, in? Okay, very there? good. Uh, we'll uh, change command posts here okay. for a little bit. As you know... 2-635-2870. Our phones are lit up constantly, and if there's anything we can do to help, we will be more than glad to help. As the calls come in, we'll get you on the air if it's something that we can help with. Again, I want to commend... And I mean this sincerely from the bottom of my heart. 
the work being done by the volunteer fire companies, the police departments, and Mr. Joe, uh, average citizen. They really are working to get these people home, and it's very difficult. Okay, you're on the air. Okay, Jack. Uh, Gary Thompson from the Friendship Fire Company. Yes, sir. Uh, we're dispatching our squad truck to the Taylor Township School. I understand Excellent. there's a tractor and trailer tied up. At the Taylor Township School? Uh-huh. Okay, fine. Okay, and uh, the people that are in the township will, uh, the township garage will try and get them out as soon as we can. Excellent. We'll just uh, hope that they'll sit by. There's two of them in there. They're in the garage. That helps an awful lot. Okay, well, we'll get to them as soon as we can. All right, fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye. What's that? Okay. Hello. Jack. Yes. That man you're hunting for uh, plow snow for the state is Harry Nisley. You turn off there, it's full Lyman Stone. No, wait a minute. Harry? Nisley. Nisley. You turn off there at Sproul Lyman Stone and go out to the Greenfield Church. At the stop sign, you go straight through toward Himmler. He lives on the right-hand side of the road just before you come to the turkey, the big turkey place that's on your left. Mm-hmm. It's on, you say he lives on the right-hand side of the road? He lives on the right-hand side of the road just before you come to the turkey place on your left. All right. Just a short ways from the Greenfield Church. Uh, okay. I'd say maybe, uh... uh what is Harry Nicely's number? I don't know his number, sir. Uh, well, we may be able to get it. Yes, I do, too. Just one minute here. Okay. This is the gentleman who operates uh, snow removal equipment. He is uh, stranded, and we have to get him out so that he can operate the equipment. And that's what we're attempting to do right now. And uh, they called from Claysburg and volunteered to go out and pick him up. He uh, lives... Uh, you go to Sproul and then the uh, Greenfield Church to Imler, and he lives on the right side just before you come to the turkey farm. Now, we're trying to get his number. Maybe the people from Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company can call Harry first and get exact instructions to get there. I thought I had his number route down here, Jack, but I just don't. He lives on the right-hand side of the road. He lives on the right-hand side of the road just before you come to the turkey place on your left. All right. Just a short ways from the Greenfield Church. Uh, okay. I'd say maybe... Uh, uh, what is Harry Nicely's number? I don't know his number, sir. Uh, well, we may be able to get it. Yes, I do, too. Just one minute here. Okay. This is the gentleman who operates uh, snow removal equipment. He is uh, stranded, and we have to get him out so that he can operate the equipment. And that's what we're attempting to do right now. And uh, they called from Claysburg and volunteered to go out and pick him up. He uh, lives, um, you go to Sproul and then the uh, Greenfield Church to Imler, and he lives on the right side just before you come to the turkey farm. Now, we're trying to get his number. Maybe the people from Claysburg Volunteer Fire Company can call Harry first and get exact instructions to get there. I thought I had his number wrote down here, Jack, but I just don't. Well, I'm sure they, they will be able... number, but uh, he isn't hard to find. Is This is right by the turkey farm on the right. Okay. And uh, this is the man that Chanchi Lingerfelder is trying to get out the pile of snow for him. Okay, fine. We'll see what we can do. And thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. All right. Doc, I have a few messages here. Okay. First of all, for Mrs. Swaney, if she will call, that's the woman who needed bread and milk that's for right. the youngsters. If she will call 695-1269... Mrs. Sweeney, call 695-1269. There is food on the way. Pat Reitenauer and a neighbor of his have called. They know where you live, and they'll see that you get food via snowmobile and Jeep. Excellent. Jack Cornelius of East Freedom, 695-5823, has two snowmobiles. If the fellows at the Roaring Spring Friendship Fire Company need anybody in the East Freedom area, 695-5823, two snowmobiles, one to make a trail and the other one to haul. Excellent. Mrs. Adam Long called that her son and the children, they were the ones seen walking along the road that the Roaring Spring Fire Company people were looking for. They have returned home. They are safe at home. Mrs. Good. Adam Long Good. said her son and the children are now at home. Fine. Again, the snowmobiles, uh, Friendship Fire Company, they're available from Jack Cornelius, East Freedom, 695 5823. Mrs. Sweeney, call 695-1269, and there will be food on the way for you and the children. Excellent. Okay, that's about where the situation. We are having a, a flow of calls, a nonstop flow of calls, and as, as we've told you before, the Roaring Spring Volunteer Fire Company, 
Uh, they are monitoring WKMC, and when these emergency situations arise, they are, are immediately uh, going to, to the rescue. Okay, we're waiting for uh, additional calls here. Uh, we have two men on the phone. Uh, if it's an emergency situation, of course, they will get right to us. If it's not, again, we urge you, uh, please, get home as fast as you can, as fast as you can. And the most important thing is this. If you don't have to leave your home, please don't. Stay in the house. The weather is bad. The wind is getting stronger. You've heard the weather report. Anywhere from six to eight inches of additional snow with the high winds blowing, it's just absolutely terrible. So, uh, I'm going to relieve Larry here for a while. Uh, Lou and uh, uh, Denny Albright are on the phones, and if there's any problems you might have, this is the place to call. We're on the air uh, past our normal sign-off time because both the mayors of Martinsburg and Roaring Spring have declared a state of emergency, and that's what we have in this area right now. 90%, 90% of the secondary roads are closed. And let me tell you something, the highway department, they have all equipment out, all equipment. The boroughs have all of their equipment out, doing the best they can to defeat this. It is a tremendous problem, uh, one of the worst snowstorms to hit this area in many, many years. Yes, Denny? Uh, Jack, first of all, the Harry Nisley number is 239-2881. That's Harry Nisley. Well, no, wait a minute, I had that marked down here. Are you already give that? No, I want the number, 239-2881. Two three nine two eight eight one two eight eight one. Now, if the Hitler or Claysburg Fire mm -hmm. Department uh, gets this number, we'll repeat it for you, right. Jack. All right. The the, uh, the fire department over there that would, would uh, are going to go out and try to get Harry Nisley. The number is two three nine two eight eight one, and he will give you uh, exact instructions on how to get there. All right. Okay. Now we have another one that looks. Another like one. We okay. Have a family located on Turkey Valley Road in Geesey Town. A family on Turkey Valley Road in Geesey Town. Now this family has seven children. Seven children. And they are snowed in. Snowed in. It's